What are aerial animals? Aerial animals are those that can fly or move through the air by their own means using different body adaptations, such as wings or feathers. Their ability to move through the air does not mean that their habitat is there, but that they combine several territories to subsist. Some aerial animals have wings that allow them to move through the air and continue to fly for a long time by controlling their direction, speed, and height. Others move through the air but with less control of their flight, so they cannot travel very long distances. There are also aerial animals that can glide, despite not having wings, and they do so thanks to the anatomical shape of their body. For some aerial animals, flight is the only way to get around. However, within this group there are also different species that have the ability to fly. But this action is conditioned by the anatomical structure and the need for survival of each species. For example, some can fly great distances to migrate and avoid very low temperatures during winter or to search for food. And others can barely move for a few moments in the air to defend themselves against predators or hunt their prey. Types of aerial animals. Flying ants develop wings only in their reproductive season. Aerial animals can belong to the following groups. Birds. They are warm-blooded vertebrate animals, characterized by being bipedal, capable of making small leaps and, sometimes, walking. The birds have a light skeleton, wings, and their body is covered with feathers, a defining characteristic of birds that provide protection against low temperature, wind, humidity, and intense sun. The body adaptations that allow them to fly are their light bones, specialized feathers, which increase the surface of the wing. Very powerful pectoral muscles and circulatory and respiratory systems that allow them to maintain a high metabolism. While the vast majority of birds have the ability to fly, there are some exceptions, such as penguins and ostriches, that do not fly. All birds are oviparous, that is, they reproduce through eggs that the females lay and hatch until the young are born. In addition, they all have beaks instead of mouths, and their diet is very varied, depending on the species. Insects they are invertebrate animals, that is, they have an exoskeleton that provides support to the body. They usually have three pairs of legs, two pairs of wings and antennae, which serve as the main sensory organ through which they experience touch, smell, hearing, and the sense of orientation. Their wings are located on the thorax and are composed of light membranes, although in some cases they are colored. Some insects do not use their wings to fly, but to attract the female during courtship. There are also others in which the wings are not even present. The reproduction of this group is mainly oviparous and sexual, although there are some cases of asexual reproduction. As for their diet, they can feed on vegetables, other smaller insects and even debris and waste. Mammals. The only mammal capable of flight is the bat or chiroptera, a warm-blooded vertebrate animal with four limbs. In addition, it has a thin membrane of elastic skin between its extremities, called the patagium, which allows it to sustain itself during flight and move through the air. Bats are viviparous, so they do not lay eggs, but their young develop in the female's womb until they are born. As for their diet, they feed mainly on fruits and insects. Gliding animals. It is a group of animals that, although they do not have the ability to fly or make controlled movements, can travel certain short distances, taking advantage of air currents as a means of transport. They are characterized by being small and light animals, with little body fat, and by having an extension of the skin, similar to that of bats, that they use as a parachute. An example is flying squirrels, which can jump through trees and glide until they reach another nearby plant. It is also possible to find examples of gliding reptiles, such as some species of lizards and even snakes. Characteristics of aerial animals. The bat is the only mammal capable of flying in a controlled and sustained manner. Aerial animals are mainly characterized by being able to fly using their wings through the momentum in the air. These wings are covered with feathers in the case of birds, and are made up of silky membranes in the case of insects. There are also some animals that have wings and cannot fly. In addition to wings, the bodies of aerial animals have other modifications that allow them to fly and move through the air. For example, birds have light skeletons, feathers, which increase the surface of the wings. 
strengthened pectoral muscles and cardiovascular systems that allow them to have a high metabolism according to the high energy consumption during the flight. The type of reproduction in general is oviparous, that is, by means of eggs that are deposited in the external environment, such as on the ground, in the heights of the trees or on the banks of the water. The exception is bats, which are mammals and therefore viviparous. Regarding their habitat, aerial animals do not inhabit exclusively in the air, but also live on land or in water. That is why they can feed on seeds, fruits, worms and carrion, among others. Examples of aerial animals. The toucan stands out for its thick, long and colorful bill. Some examples of aerial animals are. The hummingbird also known as hummingbird, it is the smallest bird in the world, within the group of vertebrates. Their wings can move between 20 and 100 times per second and, when the male wants to impress a female, he can beat his wings up to 200 times per second. It is the only species capable of flying in all directions and even levitate in place. The cockatoo. It is considered a very intelligent bird and is distinguished by its peculiar tuft of yellow feathers. It has an anatomy similar to that of the parrot, due to the shape of its beak and its legs, but its feathers are white. It lives in Australia, Indonesia, Puerto Rico and New Zealand. Its type of reproduction is monogamous, it stays in pairs in the same nest for more than four years and it likes to fly in groups. The eagle it is the largest predatory bird that with its powerful claws and strong muscles can catch prey of the same weight and take flight. It can fly up to 200 km per hour and, thanks to its excellent vision, it can see its prey from 2,000 meters away. Females are larger than males, their type of reproduction is monogamous and they stay together for several years. The toucan it is considered an exotic species and stands out for its thick, long and colorful beak, which it uses to defend itself and to feed on tropical fruits, insects, lizards and eggs. It is native to tropical areas of America and is characterized by being sedentary and living all its life in the same area, that is, it is not a migratory bird. I came as a couple, he is monogamous, or in flocks of about six members. The flamenco it is a bird that is distinguished by its long legs and its long, curved neck. It lives in tropical areas, near salty waters. The color of its plumage varies according to the species, but pink predominates. It feeds on algae, larvae, insects, crustaceans, mollusks, and small fish. It is very sociable and communicates with its own species, especially with its young, through nasal sounds. The ladybug it is an insect of the group of arthropods, of the invertebrate type, also known as Paquita de San Antonio. It has a kind of shell that turns out to be, in reality, a pair of thick, brightly colored wings, red, orange or yellow, with black spots, that cover and protect its functional wings. During the winter, it is usually grouped in 10 or 15 individuals to protect themselves from the cold. It feeds on plants, mites, aphids and mealybugs, among others. The flying ant The ant is a very sociable insect that usually lives in large and organized communities, underground. Flying ants are those that develop wings only in their reproductive season, act called nuptial flight. It feeds on fruits, plants, rotten meat and mainly on a type of fungus that grows through the leaves it collects. The moth it is an invertebrate insect that has wings covered with scales. It belongs to the group of nocturnal butterflies but has a smaller build and is less showy than a butterfly. It is characterized by undergoing a complete metamorphosis, that is, it goes through four stages throughout its life. That of an egg, that of a larva, that of a cocoon and finally that of an adult in the form of a moth, or butterfly night. During adulthood, it feeds on the nectar of flowers and lives for a short time, just a few weeks.